The Easy ID license plate program, developed by inventor Gary Richard, is the one-two punch with Amber Alert. Please watch this short video that explains the Easy ID concept. Hello, I'm Susan Regan, your host for Connecticut Valley Views, and today we're going to be discussing a very important program. It is the Easy ID License Plate Program. This concept was developed by Gary Richard. He is an inventor. And now I'd like to introduce Gary Richard, the inventor of Easy ID. Uh, pleasure to have you here today. Oh, thank you, Susan. I really appreciate your uh, advocacy here, you know, with this. Uh, we can use all the help uh, we can get because this really is a grassroots you know, effort and if we don't do this, who will? Well now, in the development of this concept, let's talk about the actual dynamics of the elements. Sure. Um, obviously, Easy ID is uh, the name of the program and the ID mean be, being able to recognize the license plate quickly. So you might explain about the symbols. Sure. Um, Looking at random numbers and letters, we, you know, cognitively we're challenged to be able to uh, re recall that. If I put a hundred intelligent adults in a room and ask them what their own license plate is uh, on the vehicle that they get in and out of every day, you may get two or three people who, who, who know that. So what chance does a child have? And so, uh, in, in trying to develop a system that would be easier to identify, you know, I had the epiphany about symbols. And, 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 and when I researched it even more, I, all the cognitive studies show that a two and a half year old child can look at a symbol and recall it a week later. So I knew I was onto something there. And the fact that it actually increases the mathematical combinations. So uh, if you were using five spaces, you actually more than triple the number of combinations if you were using like 20 symbols. So, so as a result, you, you, know, you, you, you have uh, a graphic you know, that, that, that's which easy is, to identify. Which is globally understood. Absolutely. Any nationality you know, uh, and, and uh, it, speaks, uh, it speaks any language. E exactly. And so that's why they have to be u universally recognizable symbols. And, and so it's really any nationality, any age. I can show you some visuals here, too, when, when you're ready, you know, to, to show how effective this is and how it narrows All right, down. let's take a look at, let, let's okay. take a look at those. Well, you know, when 70% uh, of all crime involves usage of a motor vehicle. So this involves, th this can help in uh, all the way through. But when an abduction does lead to the death of a child, every second is critical, as in uh, any type of crime. And if, it, uh, if, if it's an abduction, 44% are dead in the first hour. Seventy-four percent within three hours. Ninety-one percent in, 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 in twenty-four hours. If you were to look at, at a vehicle on the road, a, a moving vehicle, what is it, what's going to stand out? You know, there, uh, you know, the symbol. Now, what if you're dyslexic? Are you looking through a rearview mirror? Everything mm -hmm. else becomes hieroglyphics except for the symbol. It's a mirror image of it, of itself. We use symbols in every day in our lives. Letters and numbers are symbols. They it's represent quantities and a big part of the marketing and, and advertising I, I, community. I, I, exactly. So e even, even eye charts for children and people you know, that are illiterate, they use symbols. So I knew it was onto something you know, with that, but people say, but we don't have symbols on our keyboards. So how do we put that information into a computer system? Just like in, in Massachusetts, like a, a Red Sox plate has an R over an S. And that's, it. so they put R, S, and put the rest of the, the number in. Mm -hmm. Here you have a, a, a letter for whatever the symbol might be, and, and then where it is in the sequence. So for example, this is so a diamond a in the third yes. position. So, so it's a D over three. If it was a heart in the first position, it'd be an H over one. That goes in through a standard computer keyboard. This has been blessed by the, the FBI division, uh, CGIS, that is the, the country's oversight uh, for for uh, license plates nationally. So it's even been blessed you know, by them. So uh, this, system, when you take a look at a, a typical example, a blue SUV and you got diamond five because you can actually narrow down now to four characters for 90% of the plates. And, and so it actually and simplifies the whole Exactly. Program. Less is more. If you got 
blue SUV Diamond 5, that just narrowed it down to 1 in 12 vehicles. Which would certainly uh, shorten the time the police would need to identify who that is. Exactly, as opposed to 12,000 vehicles in Massachusetts. And when we talk about the Ember Alert system, this country made a very bold statement about uh, how important our children are by spending millions and millions of dollars to put these signs up all over the highways. But it's effectively useless if we can't get the information to put up on there. So this is the one-two punch with Amber Alert. It's the missing ingredient that we need you know, to put on there. But this can be taken one step further to make all plates instantly identifiable. If you took a look at these plates again, what would you be able to get from that? Mostly but, the BMW, actually. Yeah, and, and it, well, actually, that's another identification marker. If you take a look at where the manufacturer's logos are, they're right by the license plate. Mm -hmm. They figured out mm -hmm. a long time ago mm -hmm. where your eye is drawn to. They would be teaching the kids, you know, not only uh, through the Molly Bish Center, but car bingo. And, and that we would be given to the kids in the schools. The Massachusetts Safety Officers League, the Connecticut Safety Officers League, they go in and teach child safety in the schools. So now they really have something that they can you know, train the kids about talking to their friends. What did you see? You know, and, and it's an I, awareness exactly, level, actually, Gary. Exactly. It's an awareness level that I think that would cross um, generations of people that will make them more aware of what's happening in their surroundings. If you see something, say something. Um, if you see the car, you can use the Easy ID uh, program. So uh, it all makes sense, and we really appreciate your time and effort in showing us and explaining the program, and we certainly hope we can take it forward. Well, all we need is one state, and this is, this is going to go across the country. It's not if, it's just when. I totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Well, thank you very much. My pleasure. I appreciate thank you. it. For further information, log on to www.easy-id.org. To see the full Connecticut Valley Views Easy ID interview, go to www.ctvalleyviews.com.